watching CBS2 News in high definition. Right now at 5, what a difference a day makes. On Wall Street, a wild swing in the other direction after a huge announcement. And welcome, I'm Maurice Dubois. I'm Dana Tyler, in for Christine Johnson tonight. Our top story, who's got the drama mean? Wall Street is just now catching its breath. Today's session with enough climbs and dips for an amusement park ride. Things really revved up late this afternoon when the Federal Reserve said low interest rates are here to stay foreseeable. And by the end of the day, the Dow was up more than 400 points. But are we really in the clear. We have team coverage, including an intriguing new poll showing Americans' disgust with the economic situation. But we'll start with CBS 2's John Metaxas live on Wall Street. John? Well, Wall Street analysts are cautioning us not to read too much into this sharp rally in the market today. The Dow Jones Industrials were up more than 400 points, or 4 percent. The S&P gained 22 points, and the Nasdaq was up 48 points. They say it's a classic snapback rally from a market that fell fast and furiously yesterday. It was a turbulent ride from the opening bell. Stocks started sharply higher. Many on Wall Street had expected computerized trading programs to step in after yesterday's dramatic sell-off. But the buying dried up almost immediately in the afternoon when the Federal Reserve spoke to the public. The traders had been expecting Ben Bernanke to say something along the lines of easing or maybe some buying of bonds, and he didn't say that. Instead, he gave a pretty bleak assessment of the economy. The Fed said it will likely keep interest rates at record lows for the next two years through mid-2013, acknowledging the economy is weaker than it had thought. But that disappointment quickly turned and the market moved higher. It's really hard to figure out the direction of the market. Overall, it seems like it's an oversold rally. It all left many investors just throwing their hands up. I'm just going to go on and deal with the roller coaster as it goes up and down. I mean, there's what can I do? What can I do? Even professionals are not sure when the wild ride will end. It's like a storm. You know, how long does it does the lightning and the wind and all the turbulence last as long as it does until it stops? A very fitting analogy, Wall Street enduring a storm today, both uh, figuratively and literally, as you can see the rain around us. Many concerns in this market, from the debt downgrade to fears of a recession in Europe and a double dip here in the United States. It all has many analysts saying the volatility could continue for months. Reporting live on Wall Street, John Metaxas, CBS 2 News. Thank you, John.